Alex Soto, worldofthejars.com Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a multimodal mining project using M2 Eclipse plugin. Usually when you start a new project, this project will contain several sub-projects, for example one with core functionalities, another one with the user interface, or accident test could be another one. An example that I really like about an even multimodal configuration is Spring Rule. That's it. Spring Rule and GitHub, you can see this is the parent folder, the root folder, and each one of these subfolders is a subproject of Spring Root project. If you look at the bottom, this root contains a POM called Party POM, and each one of these subprojects also contains a POM. Here it is. So, what we are going to do is to create this structure but in Eclipse. Well, I open an Eclipse, in this case it's an STS, it's an Eclipse with some plugins. And let's start. The first thing to do is to create a parent folder. So, new project, general project, not a Maven project, not a Java project, a general project. Aim, uh, de uh, demo, for example. Okay, here we have the folder, and now it's time to convert it to Maven project. So, configure convert to Maven project. Work ID com dot dot of dot demo artifact ID demo is okay, and packaging is pom, not jar, this is the default value, it's pom, because parent pom does not contain code. Don't contain sub project that will contain the code, but root project doesn't contain code. Okay, here we have the POM almost empty, and now let's create the first sub project. So, new project, but now maybe module project. This one next. Name, uh, we can say sub demo for example, or demo code. Sorry, parent project is uh, auto detected, and they detect that you have a, a parent POM and that is demo, but of course, you can uh, choose whatever you want with browse. Next, we choose uh, a quick store archetype, furnish. And here we have, see that parent POM has been modified, adding modules tag with a pointer to our sub-project, demo code at this case. Here we have demo code, a Java Maven project. So this is a project, a normal project. You can create a class. And if you open demo, the parent, you have a view of demo core, but as a folder, not as a, pro a Java project. See that? It's maintained always updated, but this is as a folder. IPP, IPP2, this one, OK. Then, uh, which part goes to the parent POM and which ones are the shell POM? Well, this will depend on your project, but typically per parent POM will contain common dependencies to all projects. For example, uh, Uni is a dependency that all your sub projects must uh, contain. So, in this case, you open the child POM and we move these dependencies, the unit, to the parent POM. See that now the project doesn't compile, and I'm going to, well, here, parent POM, and that the dependencies. And now, no dependencies have appeared to a child project. And all of, of all our subprojects will contain two this dependency. Well, um, a parent POM, you can also add um, maybe plugins like Surefire plugin, compiler plugin, or release plugin. And also will contain ECM information and dependency management tag. 
But this managing management tag is very important. This tag, as its name suggests, only manages dependencies, but not add them physically to your project. Imagine that uh, some, you have some modules that request Spring Framework dependencies, but other ones does not require it. So you can think, well, if some models requires and some models not, each model will contain a dependency to Spring Framework. But here we've got a problem, is that one module can add Spring Framework 2.5 as dependency and the other separation at Spring Framework 3.0 dependency. Yeah, we've got a problem. We've got DJRs duplicated with different um, versions. But dependency management fix that, but only you define in Parampon which dependency version should be used or one artifact in all submodels. So for example, imagine that in this case we've got unit and we want that some projects can contain unit test and other ones not. So we not here and we add the dependency management tag. We add here, we select and we put here. And what's happened? Well, we have no dependency here anymore because here we are saying, hey, if one subproject wants to use the unit, we'll use the version 3.8.1. So now, if you, I copy that, only this information is required. I'm going to the subproject form and I add dependencies. Sorry. Then, oh. Oh, sorry. So, oh, dependencies. Okay, now I add this one. I close dependency. Oh, it's going crazy. Now, and you know what? Not here, the version 3.8.1. Those defined in parent bomb. So this define purple. Well, that's all. I wish you have fun. Uh, useful this video. Thank you very much for coming.